How would you compare the mindset now than maybe a week ago when you guys were really looking up at it? Um, I mean, last week we were a little down on ourselves, but um, we've had two good games back to back, um, especially a good one against Missouri. So um, we're happy, but at the same time, I think we're even more focused right now, knowing that um, we got to still keep on making this run before the tournament. Um, I think we had a really good day yesterday. Hopefully, we'll have a good day today. Jared, this team, Mississippi State's lost 12 straight games, one of their longest losing streaks in history. How do you, how do you sort of not look past a team like this? Um, I mean, we really, we really know we can't look past anybody. I mean, they had, they've had some teams um, almost beat. I think Cal said so. Um, I mean, we had a really focused practice yesterday. Cal was really on us, making sure that we're not going to look past this team at all. Um, so, um, yeah, just keep, keep staying focused and going hard in practice of what we're trying to do. They lost their last game by 40 at home to Vandy. How does mm -hmm. that play on your mind? Um, we Honestly, we can't let it play on our mind. Um, we know, I mean, if a team starts hitting shots, then it's a totally different ball game. They probably had their worst game against Vandy, so who knows what they could do. A lot of teams come into Rupp and um, go off, it's like, especially in Rupp. So um, we know we can't look past them at all. You guys play with more emotion against Missouri, it looked like, than anybody else. Do you, now that you've done that, can you summon that, do you think, when you need it each time? Uh, I mean, yeah, I think that's what we need to do, um, and we, I think we know that. We need to play with emotion every game, and um, it definitely helped out with Missouri. Um, so hopefully we can keep that emotion going high. As an older guy around here, you see some of the freshmen, how they've changed and grown just through osmosis of time. What kind of changes are you seeing? Um, I mean, everyone's changing in their own way. Um, I mean, a lot of them are more, more mature. Um, Archie's taking better shots. I mean, you can see him right now, he's always in the gym, first one in, first one out. So, um, I mean, Alex had a great game yesterday. He's really, he's really going now. So, um, I mean, all of them are changing in their own way, but they're all just becoming more mature. Jared, I know you guys have to take them one at a time, but doesn't it behoove you guys to keep an eye on the NCAA tournament and have that in the, not the back of the mind, the front of the mind, because that's what you're playing for? Um, I mean, yeah, we know that we're playing for the NCAA tournament, but um, I mean, we really got to focus on just getting better, um, our own team getting better. I mean, that Cal preaches that to us every day. Doesn't matter who we're playing, we just need to focus on getting better because once the NCAA tournament comes, we need to be the best that we can be. So it doesn't really matter who we're playing. What do you think beating Missouri did for your NCAA chance? Um, I mean, that's probably our best win up to date. So um, I definitely think that helped a lot. I don't think that put us in or put us out or whatever, but um, hopefully uh, that'll that'll help us in the seating and stuff. So who knows? You, you know, the committee is supposed to look at you guys and think only of what you're doing without Maryland, kind of by rule. What do you think you told the committee the other night against Missouri? Um, I mean that. I mean we beat them without Maryland, so um, we beat a really good team without them. So I mean I think that shows that we're not. A bad team just because Nerland's got hurt. Um, we can still play. We still have a lot of talented guys on our roster, so um, I think it definitely showed them that. What's the 